Hello everybody, this is a uh, brand new Let's Play. This is Moga's I'm Scared of Girls. It's a pretty, uh, pretty intense piece. Let's start. Uh, let's go in normal mode. It's been a while since I've played this. Where am I? The television suddenly shows a clear picture. You have died. There is no path but forward. But you were followed. To be reborn, you must cut the ties to your former life. Or remain here. Our hearts weep for your fate. Oh, what's this? It's a knife. Even if I am dead, I'll need it. Do you want to hear the explanations for dungeon crawling? Uh, yes, because it's been forever since I've played this game. This is a dungeon, where the majority of the game is spent. It's very dangerous. Avoid enemies and traps, you could die. You'll be looking for red orb teleporters. They will take you to a red string you'll need to cut. Some are easily found, and some aren't. After you have cut a red string, you'll be instantly brought back to the television. Currently, you have a knife, making you can attack by simply moving into an enemy. Direction is important, though. You can only attack left or right facing. If you walk into them up or down, you will be damaged. Even if you attack, though, you won't always succeed. Lamb isn't very strong. It won't be enough to chase down baddies, though. You'll need to keep an eye out for precious gems to unlock other areas. There are also outposts where you can rest and talk to people when they are there. There are random item drops in each level, which can give you points, health, and more. The shift button allows you to access the menu where you can see your points, save, and return to the main menu. Do you want to hear this again? Oh, the television is the owl from Zelda. No. Have fun. Okay. Uh, let's save real quick. Try to... Uh... So... Yeah. I forgot. I forget how the combat works. Ah, oh, here's our first gem. Let's get it. Uh, this is where a tie to our former life is. Let's go sever these ties. It started when I was kicked out, or ran away. The difference was slim because as soon as I disappeared, I was told to never come back. It was also the day the climate broke. This town became a rain zone, with constant cloud cover and rain. I was standing in it, outside without an umbrella. All my clothes, papers, and everything got soaked. <laughs> Officially. It was supposed to be a normal day, but I did something stupid. I've cross-dressed for ages. I have the body and face for it. Something about a hormone imbalance, but either way, after days of trying out clothes, I was found out. Everyone in my house freaked. I was already in trouble, but this just gave them another excuse to rip me a new one. After I was slapped around by my parents, I went for a kitchen knife. They instantly called the police, and I bolted. I ran upstairs, packed what I could, which happened to be the girl's clothing already in my bag, my cell phone, and a knife. And now here I am, soaked. You could probably see my boy parts if you looked hard enough. I've got to go somewhere. I guess I'll just try to find shelter. So that was a bit of From Lamb's Life. And that segment to our life has been cut. Let's move on and see if we can find any others. Ah, this is a very pretty dress that I'm wearing, actually. A little tombstones everywhere. This gives a very uh, unique um, visual style. Oh look, we found another gem. Yes. When I was younger, there was this well outside my old house in the country. It wasn't special, but one day I heard a gasp, not being as paranoid and maybe a little stupid. I walked up to it and heard a gasp again. But this time, I heard a word too. Sun. So I talked to the well. Is there something wrong? Another gasp. Too much. Huh? Gasp. Too much sun. Want me to cover you up? Gasp. Please. 
So I found a lid for this small well, dragging it with my frail legs and slamming it on top of the mouth of the well. Later that day, my father patted me on the head and said I'd done good. That's fucking weird as shit. So did we kill that person? Huh. And we start back here again by the television. Which is pretty good, uh, in case you get lost while exploring. Uh, the first two gems are pretty easy to find, but the rest of this game is mainly centered around exploring the different areas. Like this, see? What's this? Oh, oh cool, I got a new outfit. I'm all, like, charcoal-y. There we go. Okay, now I'm figuring out the combat again. So you just kind of, like, charge enemies. And be sure to... Ah, oh, dang it. Dang it! Come on! There we go. There we go. I forget what these gems are for, but, uh... We'll figure things out. Sometimes you have to kill a certain number of enemies before you can move forwards. Ah, yes, health. Let's go ahead and save real quick. There we go. Watch out for these things. Let's go downstairs. Hey, look, another gem. Hey there. Hey there, partner. Our scanners show you a prime candidate for our premium services. What? You'll find out soon enough. Talk to our squad leader. She's in the bulky suit. Um, okay. Hey, squad leader. Swan. Salute. I am Intercom's sole procurement services on-site representative Swan. I'm also squad leader. These gals are just here for backup in case hostiles invade the outposts. If you find outposts where we aren't yet, we'll be there! What are those things running around here? The blue with pink gem ghost looking things. Didn't you get the pamphlet? Um, no. What pamphlet? The television guy is contractually obligated to give those out. <sighs> Anyways, the blue things are spiritoids, uh, basically the dead in thought form. Animals, people, events. Some lose their cool, freak out, and never get themselves back, and some are just greedy and, and take a fee for the television man to fight everything. Most spiritoids don't remain here long. They're usually reconstituted from thought forms and go to a new form. We're foggy on the details because no one has been back to say anything. Oh, well, thanks. That kind of helps. I've been so confused here. Don't worry about it. Oh! What? As I'm a rep for a service, hear me out. You're a soul bearer, and a prime example too, but you have a distinct weakness. If your soul leaves, it erases your body and thoughts and all this other stuff. For a modest fee, we can extract it for you and store it in a safe, secure facility. And since you're such a cute girl, or wait, or whatever, we'll waive the fee. So, care to try? Yeah, sure. Let's try. Alrighty then, let me tap some numbers. And you're good to go! Uh, hello? This is Intercom. You spoke with our soul procurement consultants. We'll be extracting your soul today for storage and safekeeping. So please step through the door in front of you. Inside, we will start the operation. Um, okay. Let's go. Whoa! Good, good. The process will begin. I'm not so sure about this, guys. But all better now. No soul, no worries. Proceed to the next door. Thank you for your cooperation today. Just jump back in the elevator and get back where you were. Before you do, you may experience some side effects. The intercom buzzed with static and promptly went silent. Oh boy. I I don't know if that was such a good idea. I'm apparently soulless now. You know, waking up soulless is usually never the best idea. Well then, that was interesting. And let's go get our jewel. This is very serious business. You can just tell from the music. I feel like I should be like going up to it a bit more reverent. You know, it's like getting the spiritual stones and Zelda. This is a big deal. 
Another rainy day. This high school's roof is busted. It always leaks. Particularly in my chair. Ugh. I'm so tired of that. The teacher moved me beside this girl, with bright blue hair and the standard uniform. She smiled and said to me, Rained out, huh? She didn't have too annoying of a voice. It squeaked a little. Uh, yeah. Currently replying and then promptly returning to whatever I was doing. Probably nothing at that point. Not talkative? I got an idea. She ripped a sheet of paper out and scribbled something on it. A couple of digits and a web address. Check this out. We can probably chat more there. Wanna hang out after school instead? I never did check out the address, because I didn't have a computer. That's how I met Angelica. Okay. And we start back at the television again. Oh, but we have a different box this time. Yes, I have a bat! Or a tennis racket! Yes, fear me, blue monsters, for I have a tennis racket! And there is nothing you can do about it! Yes! Uh, let's go ahead and save, real quick. Save our progress. Let's go over here again and see what we can find. Die, monster. These, uh, these, uh, gems, by the way, are pretty important. Just thought I'd point that out. You, uh, need them eventually. To, uh, get to certain doors. Well, which one do I have to kill to order the door around here? There we go. What's up here? Oh, it just takes me back. Oh, god damn it. That's not where I wanted to go. Okay, well. Getting where we need to go is easy enough. This isn't a very big game. Nothing to worry about. And we got more gems, which is always good. And, uh, smash you guy. Okay. Ah, haha. I love that tennis racket. It's so helpful. I don't like it when things are helpful. Okay. What's over here? Um... Okay, then. So, there's nothing there. What about down here? No. Nothing here. Nothing at all. Nothing? Tra-la-la-la-la, -la -la -la, nothing? You, uh, Blue Lady, you're gonna have to get out of my way. Thank you. Just, just, get... Oh, come on! Dang it, Blue Ladies! Come on. Go on. Go! Get, uh, come on! Come on! Ah! Thank you! Out of my way! I have no mood for your shenanigans. Oh, what's this? Remember this one. You have to kill a certain... Ah, uh, oh, dang it. Oh, dang it. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, I think I have to kill the square ones. Yes. Ow! That hurt. Oh, where am I now? Oh, well, a heart. That's always good. And, uh, points, I guess. Well, let's keep going and see what else we can find. And the heart. Always good. So, our lives are back. I'm gonna save again. Just cause I feel like it. So, fuck off! Okay. Uh, I guess we go down here? Yes. And there are little point things that we can collect. You know, around all the tombstones. So this is a very peaceful looking cemetery. You know, the land of the dead is kind of cute. Alright, come on, sperm. 
Come on, Mr. Square Block Man. Hello, people? I guess the sad ghost people don't want to talk to us. They look so sad. They're just sitting there. Actually, they kind of look like they're knitting. Knitting ghost people. Because that's what you do in the Land of the Dead. You sit there. You turn blue and look sad and knit for a while. You just knit. Knitting. Knit Romney. Knitting. Hello, it's uh, it's another- it's uh, this- this blue ghost person looks like a horse. Or a giraffe. And they're knitting. Welcome to my skull shop! Would you perhaps like to sell a skull? I give top prices. No, um, thanks. But if I find some, I'll definitely come back. Please do. I'm so lonely. Well, that was generally unsettling. Hello, ghost person. I'm gonna kill you now. And you, and you little sperm thingies. They do, they look like sperm. Hey, sperm thing. Ooh, uh, that was different. There seems to be, uh, a gem there, which I want. Get out of my way. Uh, you. Oh, come on. No! I- I just want the diamond! Yes! Give me the diamond! Yes! Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme!